hi guys i'm asif ali and you're watching series of video today i created this procedural shine effect you can see on this armor as the shine and when i'm rotating this armor the shine is animating from one position to other position and also rotating so this is new thing i tried today and let's start from scratch and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you like this video please like share and comment thanks for watching and let's start tutorial First of all subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification So I have this empty folder shine1 and this is the reference we will follow this is done in blender I will put the link in my description and see when it is rotating this armor or you say camera then the shine is animating on this surface this is procedural effect i will try to create the same type thing when we will uh, rotate our armor not camera but armor then the shine will be animate and this is can be a little tricky because i have never done this type of tutorial so first i need a mesh so in maya i quickly create a mesh and i will fast forward that video because that can be boring so let's start So this is the armor I created very basic it's not looking same at all but very basic we just need to do that effect and I'll just maybe make this if it's okay let's just use this so I'll export this to desktop armor Port. and here i will import that next up okay so uh, this is the material i will just make that uh, gray for now and we need a flash material so m flash or you say shine and i'll just search quickly some texture we have many and i will use maybe this one this one for now and just connect it particle okay so save this and now we will create our effect save all so fx fountain fx first diameter will be our armor and i will use that mesh here in this so delete this and take a mesh render I just need one particle life infinite and it spawn just once just once and size this is the size okay or maybe 15 and then initial mesh rotation okay and I'll make this local 
and then I'll take a new label. Drag this here. So we have this and let me just apply basic floor material. Okay. So we have this and of course we can rotate it because this is local. Now I want a flash that move from here to here when I'm rotating it. Okay. So second duplicate this and this is our shine and in this one i will take a sprite render and this material here and i don't need this and turn off the mass make the size okay let's make it brighter and this is the size we will use so initially if i move this up this is here and let's make this one it's not working because this is mesh so in this material you can search here depth and disable depth as so now this flash will always be or anything like this so if i move this armor under the ground still you can see the flash but this is just for to test this effect you can you should not do that uh, it depends on case to case so now i'll decrease the size maybe this much okay and its life is also uh, life is also infinite Zero five one zero one hundred ten. Okay, now we need to animate the position according to this. Uh, not this. Uh, actually, when we are rotating our uh, particle system here, so we are rotating it on z axis. See, we are rotating on z axis. So. If I take the position here, select this and take the position, it can be tricky. I never did this, so I'll have to think about it. So, okay, so now we have this position, and I will add our initial position because we have set the initial position, and now we have this, and we can move it from Y or Z. So we need to use the curve, so I'll break this. First, we will use just Y, this position. So, this should animate from here to here. Then, we will use Z to make it up and down. So, this is like positive 100 and negative 100. Okay. And if I make a curve or if I just multi uh, sorry you can make a scratch pad input here and this is the value and this is the output so what you can do you can make a vector this is your vector and this i will use here my rotation of this so i will make this um, system rotation system rotation then we will rotate our system here okay and then we will break and we will take this just a z value or if i just connect this z here in y so what happened so if i rotate it nothing actually happening because here you need to connect this vector this vector with owner rotation we don't have owner rotation seriously we don't have owner or 
we have owner scale we have owner position and system axis so i thought we have owner rotation also let me just try here what we have yeah owner rotation so we can just take this because this is vector rotation is you know quad that's why so i will just delete this remove and i will break this quad and just use the z value here and see nothing actually happening hmm. because we need to set this uh, one i think okay so if i make just a quad here and connect it here remove this we will have a quad here now we can search owner rotation and uh, still it will not work because this is the same thing but if we add add work see it's working but it's not linked with that so on the rotation add then connect it here but we are not working i just add one let me think so we were using the engine owner this is the same thing this should work actually why is not working let me think let me think yeah so i think you need to multiply the value because this is very less value so multiply this with a float like thousand and see it's working on this axis but not a uh, very high value so let's make it just 100 yeah so it's working y is working and now we need to work on z similar way so what i'll do i'll just copy the same thing copy and make the z scratch input delete this paste and this is your output and here we need uh, let's check it is going upward so let's make it minus 300 maybe okay got it because this is positive and this is negative so what i'll do i'll take the absolute of this
yeah yeah it's working fine just need to adjust the values and everything is working fine so it's coming to this point and coming to this point and yeah although there's uh this curve is not exact what i wanted so what you can do you can copy this scratch input and i think you can use the curve here and then paste that here okay so this curve i will use like this and see how it working so now I'll just connect it here directly and I'll make these values minus 500 oh minus 100 okay i need to reverse the curve so these value will be one and this will be minus 250 yeah it's still working the same now you can adjust the curves like the shape weird So at this point you can add it the curve see you can adjust it manually and when i'm rotating this to here it is perfect but this is going out also so you need to limit the rotation so like uh, uh, let's check the rotation how much i am rotating so i am rotating from here this is minus 20 to here maybe 20 okay so we are just playing 20 to minus 20 so we need to check we need to actually clamp this value mm, like the plot this is for z so z is for 0 to 20 connect this here check if it's working fine yeah and now for y for this y this will be minus 20 to 20 before multiplying so clamp make the float make the float 20 and minus 20 Still is working weird. Oh, okay. 
if this is greater than twenty and less than minus twenty and and I will I need to restart my engine. Let's save all. Close this and open a new. Okay, so I will take the and logic here. It need to check this both, and then I plot So if this is true, this is then use the zero. Otherwise, use this. If it falls, then use this. Oh. Why is not working? Okay, try one more thing. So I had multiplied it with 500, and now after this clamp. First, let's try if it's working or not, this clamp. Yeah, clamp is working, so need to just use 100 minus 100. Yeah, now it's working. And similarly, I will work for Z. So I'll delete this condition and for my Z, Let's use 10 here. It's going okay. So it will be just one. Because I'm using higher value here in curve, maybe it it will be zero to one. Okay, if you still have problem, I'll just copy this whole curve. Then I'll use clamp here and then paste it here. And now you have the zero and one here. So see, but it's working. So I will use 20, uh, 100. Minus hundred. Yeah, it's working fine, absolutely fine. So we have now successfully finished our effect, and then I'll apply a metal material on this metal. Maybe this one. Let it compile then 
till then i will delete this ground and all these things and i'll take a directional light and exponent height fog I'll use blue, blue color because my armor will be visible properly and let's make your shine yellowish and also I'll duplicate this shine make the size uh, 10 or 20 and then i'll write this maybe 1000 and then i need post process volume even more why it's not brightening i'm increasing too much value yeah fine also you can do one thing you can uh, you can Take this dynamic input, copy, and take the uh, rate, rotation rate, not rotation rate actually, take the plot and write here, write rotation and connect this here. So you see, the sprite is also rotating. Looks cool. So that's it. I hope you liked it. You learned something new. I also learned something new today. I tried it very first time. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.